Honourable Vance Oden. Order, Honourable Members. House Chairperson, imagine the shame of a country when the Pan-South African Language Board announced in October of this year Order. that the South African Word of the Year was state capture. The once glorious rainbow nation now sold off piece by piece to a certain family, various multinational companies, all for the political and financial gain of a few people who were happy to see our beautiful country brought to its knees. State capture can only be described as a plan so demonic in its structure, so intricate in its rollout, and so deliberate in its purpose that it is truly one of the greatest heists of all time. Right under the noses of South Africa, various politicians were bought off to ensure loyalty to the cause. These politicians then in turn began to purchase certain key players in various state-owned entities and government departments to ensure that they were also loyal to the cause. Order. These purchased individuals... Order, Honourable Member. What's the point of order? Uh, I hope after this we'll deal with Helen Zilles probe. Order, Honourable Member. What is the point of order? Officials order to favour her son. Honourable Member, what is your point the, of order? The evergreen contracts. Honourable Member, can you take your seat? That's not the point of order. It's a statement. Honourable Member, you can proceed. Thank you, House Chair. These purchased individuals, now slaves to state capture, then began the deliberate and systematic breaking up of our state-owned entities and various government departments so that this newly created beast could begin gorging itself on billions and billions of South African rands. This beast has now been identified, it has been classified, and its extinction is imminent. Those that helped growing this festering, parasitic-filled monster are now also being identified, and they will soon learn firsthand what it means to have the full might of the law thrown at you. State-owned entities that should be South Africa's pride and joy are nothing more than shameful shells, their interiors sucked dry by the monster, and only their bare bones left holding up the stripped and shaky skeleton that remains. Not only has this monster cost us the reputation of our country, it has caused a near economic crash of our country. When those brave enough to take on the monster were caught by the beasts feeding it, they were so systematically set aside and replaced by puppets and willing participants in this mad feeding frenzy. Downgrade after downgrade, finance minister after finance minister, board executive after board executive, so the monster continued the devastation. And here we are. We can safely say that we are no longer confronted with the elephant in the room, but rather the monster that is state capture. Finally, though, Parliament showed its muscle. It showed itself not to be a toothless, rubber-stamping machine that simply went through the motions. Parliament stood up and did what it should. It began to hold the executive to account. It took time and it took a lot of work. But finally, a constitutionally mandated committee took up the task of being the first line of defence against this monster. Not unlike the Game of Thrones term, winter is coming, this committee adopted the term, not on our watch. One would imagine that everyone who took the oath of office to serve our country would have been delighted that this committee had taken up the defence of our country. This was sadly not the case. Despite numerous attempts to shut the, the inquiry down, the committee fought back. No MP, no state attorney, no Mickey Mouse militia, and certainly no little press conference called by six little men were going to stop us from doing our job. To say that the revelations that have come out of this inquiry are already startling is an understatement. The scary part is that deep down, we all knew what people were going to say. But when you actually heard people verbalize it, it shook us all to the core. Imagine the shame of a country when Parliament plays out on TV like a sordid soap opera with a malicious storyline and the bad guys are actually those who should be protecting the country. Someone asked me over the weekend, when does this inquiry finish? My response was quite simple, we have only just begun. As we can see from the first part of our three-part inquiry, ESCOM, Denel and Transnet are all linked. The players are all the same, the modus operandi almost identical, 
and the goal, always to feed the monster. Those who suffer are the people of South Africa. While the rich get richer, the, parasite, the parasites of state capture get even richer, and the poor remain poor and simply become poorer. As South Africans, we have an absolute right to be outraged. Our country has been systematically sold off to the highest bidder, without resistance and with no conscience. We, the people of South Africa, have finally stood up and said no. It goes this far and no further. While we fight to regain the lost billions that these parasites have taken from our fiscus, at least the tap has been switched off. Not a move can be made without us seeing it, without us investigating it, and without us uncovering every piece of information around it. The power belongs to this parliament. We are the voice of 54 million South Africans who are depending on us to defend our country and save it from the parasitic scourge that is state capture. We hold the executive to account, not the other way around. We hold them to account. We will not be pushed around by a corrupt few. We will honour our oath of office and we will exercise our oversight role robustly. This is no easy task, but I call on South Africa to join me as I proudly say, bring it on. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? You want to threaten us? I proudly say, bring it on. You want to run to high office and try and stop us? I proudly say, bring it on. You want your little henchmen to try and intimidate Order. us? I proudly say, bring it on. Now is the time that South Africans must unite. Stand firm and proudly say together, bring it on. This is the time of our spring. This is the time of our rising. And we will say at the top of our voices as we sing, let us live and strive for freedom in South Africa, our dear land. In Kosi Sikelele, Africa, a new beginning starts today. Honorable Lekota. Order, honorable members. Honorable Lekota, you can take the podium.